play and call it work. Hey everybody, welcome to Augustine's Wreckage yet again here with Josh. I think this is our third game. Is this? This is our, yeah, this is our third, third game. game. Yeah. The, the first one didn't yeah, go so I well. I don't count the shootout. <laughs> or as you don't, that'd be our second game then. This is our second yeah. game if you don't count the shootout. The shootout was like Everybody a little. picks a shootout against me. The shootout was like a little bit of a revenge after that first yeah. matchup. Josh was my very first matchup. I'm sure you've all seen that one. Anyways, I'll be playing Admec, the battery's not included. And I've got the Gretchen Revolutionary Committee. Yep. The GRC. Uh, now we are playing Hit and Run. Have you played this one before? I've not played Hit and Run. And you are the attacker. I'm the attacker yes. on this one, right. So I have a secret objective that Luca doesn't know about and he has to do his best to try to guess it. I've, first time I've defended this one. I've done this one a couple of times as the attacker. I've never defended it before. Let's see how that goes. Let's go take a look at the uh, setup. Josh has yet to roll his secret objective. So we're going to do that right off camera right now. And then he's going to deploy. Here we have our table set up for our hit and run mission for the Augustine's Wreckage campaign. Now I am the defender. Deployed on my 8 inch line like so. The stash I chose to put right here out in the open in case anyone dare go for it. Whereas the water tower is over here on these rocks, ever so slightly elevated off the ground. I got LU, my trooper with specialist arc rifle, on the left flank. B7, my arquebus, supported by R3. We got Shut Up, my gun slinging hip shooter. And then we got my newest addition, my newest specialist, D4, with his heavy bolter right at the end of the table by the rocks. And then G0 over here on the right supporting. Over to my side of the board, I managed to get five guys after my random roll. I have Greg O'Gray and Can't Catch Him. The Red Gobble is here. Crank Shiv, who's my gunfighter, hip shooting sprinter, which is an awesome. <laughs> I combo. love that. I do love that. That's a great combo. Well, the thing is, normally they can't take shooting skills, so I had to roll the double ones or double sixes twice to be able to pick on shooting skills. He got that lucky. Yeah, he. Definitely, this guy's way cooler than my guy. There's there's been some cool progression for him. He wants it so much more. He does. And then <laughs> Lendon, still uh, upset about the loss of his brother because Dave's a jerk. Uh, he's sitting up there with a sniper <laughs> rifle. And you had to roll a secret objective, essentially destroying the water tower over there, or getting to the stash, hitting my leader down, or beating up a guy you choose in a random guy you choose in melee. Yep. Though the way this one's kind of played out is there's also the shootout one where you have to get from table side opposite me to right. pretty much my table side, or the opposite side you deploy on, 12 inches. Or sorry, you have to get over it. Yeah, and you, you, have you, to, you gotta get yeah. off the yeah. other table edge. But its restrictions are you're only allowed to deploy within 12 inches of your table side, so it gives it away almost immediately what you're trying to do, especially with the two ogrens right out in front. <laughs> it's not sneaky. What can you do, right? What can you do? Anyways, let's figure out who goes first. Just uh, straight up, whoever rolls higher goes first. Go ahead. I'll let you take the honors. I'm rolling the white die. It's four, and I'm getting a five. I will take first turn. I forgot to mention these are my reinforcements. H4, my leader, is hanging out waiting. G1, my newest trooper. And N008, my first medic. They're all waiting to come on later. And they would come on starting on my second turn. I roll a D3, I got that many guys, and then I have to roll a random table edge. First thing is running. Gotta keep up and support where the threat is. B7, running up to the ladder and up. Way up there. R3 is running right down to the second flight of stairs. Shut up, I'm gonna run right to the other side of the objective, kind of out in the open. G0 is gonna just move right there. The heavy bolter isn't very useful there. He's gonna run six inches to there and eight inches to right here. And thus that's the end of my movement. Everyone's pretty much run, 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 run. <laughs> Run, just moved, he's gonna take a shot. Everyone had to get in a better position as Josh pretty much deployed strictly over here. Just gonna backtrack this guy, he's only gonna run there because the sniper is in a pretty good position. I wanted to avoid that. 
After readjusting my sh uh, sorry, after readjusting my movements, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot with G zero. And the only one I can really see is this one, whoever that is. That there is can't catch you. Can't catch you. All right, he's got that shield right in front. All right, G zero is gonna take a shot at Greg Ogre. The shield counts as full cover. That's can't catch you. Or sorry, can't catch you. Yes. So it counts as full cover. But then large target. And so large target. So you're minus one to hit of what you normally be at this range. So I am BS5, plus one for red dot sight, and plus one for long range. So I, I'm still hitting you on a two. Because of the large target, minus one. What are you, a jerk? So we are hitting on a two. That's, of course, a miss. That's a uh, straight shot, doesn't affect anyone, there's no one in the line. And that's actually going to end my turn. Moving right on to Josh's turn. Overwatch. Overwatch right off the bat. Now, I think we're going to move both the Ogrens. They're both going to be running. I just got to get kind of the final position because I need to avoid that uh, transuranic Arcubus. All right, here we have the Ogrens. They both ran up. They've taken a position behind these rocks. So as my transuranic Arcubus over here cannot see them whatsoever. Next up, the boss is going to run and dive himself mm -hmm. into cover. So he's hidden. He's got, yeah, he's got dive. It's pretty good. Next crank shiv will just run to right here. So we have these three that have ran. He ran and dove, so now he's hiding. And the sniper is simply on Overwatch. That is concluding Josh's turn. I'm gonna go right onto my turn. Start of my turn, I do get reinforcements. I'm gonna roll D3 to see how many I get. I get one of these. Now I have to randomize the table edge. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And then on a five or six, I choose. One, they come on on this table edge. We are gonna send N0. I don't like sending him, he's got more experience. It puts him right in the threat of everything. Though he's got deflect and counter attack. So in case he does get attacked, he's got a much better chance of defending himself as well. Now he's gonna go right here. He's allowed to activate as normal. So he will right away elect a charge at the red gobble because he's within my initiative bubble now. Oh, I can see him clearly as well. Yeah. He's not hidden anymore. This is this is what my ad mech have been waiting for this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the moment. Run of the red this, this is literally the moment. If if you all remember from the first game, the red gobble was the one who walked up, took a pistol shot at my leader, and took him out of action. And then my leader proceeded to die. Sorry for any spoilers, but that was like thirty games ago. It's true. <laughs> that was more than thirty. Uh, yeah, maybe about thirty I'm, games I'm ago. Just, yeah. yeah. Just, anyways, this is what's happening right now. The red gobble is getting charged by N zero. To proceed with the rest of my moves, mm, G0 is going to have to move behind the ladder just so we can get a better shot at an ogre. So unfortunately the G, G0 has to move, he, he has rapid fire so if he doesn't move he gets to re-roll his failed hits. Though he has to move just to get inside of uh, the... The ogren? The ogren, yeah. Going to proceed to run L0, he's going to go two more, in or eight inches. Running R3 down, six, two inches that way. He's got he's to get over there and start helping. Shut up is going to run six to there and pack himself right behind that wall, but I believe that's going to trigger. You want to you shoot your overwatch? Yeah, I'm going to go for the overwatch. Now, if I fail my initiative, do I still keep him on overwatch or no? Uh, no, you take your shot and you miss. Okay, so yeah. let's do the initiative test. He's only going to pass on a one or two. No, he doesn't. So that's only because my guy was behind cover out of, out of line of sight when he ran. Two out of line of sight again. If he landed in the open, he would have just taken the shot as normal. D4, my heavy bolter, is going to... Let me double check to see if I want to stop here. He's got two more inches. No, he's going to move two more inches. Right, that's the final position, everyone. They've all ran, ran yet again, running to get in a better position. The Archibus is actually going to go... Was it going to go on Overwatch, I meant to say? Which is... That's in, obvious, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's initiative one, so if you go cover to cover, he's not going to be able to take the shot. And then Shut Up has also ran, but he's got hip shot, so he can still take a shot. So yeah, Overwatch. Right on to some shoots. The only one who can actually take shots are G0 and Shut Up right over there. G0 uh, G is only able to see Grey Ogre. Greg Ogre. Greg Ogre. He's got four wounds, it's the only shot I can take. So, calculating all the modifiers, you ran, which counters out your large target. You have hard uh, full cover because of your shield, but I also have long range and red dot sight, so that counters out the hard cover. And I'm BS5, so I'm hitting on a 2. Blah, 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 blah. Focus, focus, focus. No. There we go. Hitting on 2. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be one of those. It's, it's, it's a melee kind of game. So Shut Up over here is going to take two shots with his arc pistols. He's dual wielding at Greg Ogre because he is ever so slightly closer than Can't Catch You. 
or correct. Yes. Okay. So I'm ballistic skill six, which counters out the minus one to hit for running for hip shooting. Your large target, you're running, so they kind of counter each other out. I'm just minus two to hit. So BS five or I'm hitting on fours. In the end, it's on fours. One at a time. One at a time. Oh, that's a hit. Ammo check as well. So we'll see the pistol in my right hand is an ammo check. Six up. Very good. He's pinned now. And then what's okay. the toughness on him? T5. All right, so I'm wounding on a four. Wounding on a four. No wound. But now the other pistol can shoot the other Ogryn, which is can't catch you. That's can't catch you. So this one is also hitting on four, all the same modifiers. Oh, he can hit. He can hit better than the guy hitting on a two up. So that will pin. Can't catch you. Indeed. Put the shield that way. Yeah, so the shields are always still up. You always still get yep. hard cover from behind them. So we're looking at T5 on this one as well. We're looking for a forward wound. No, no wound, but I'm happy enough pinning them for now. That's all my shooting. We're gonna go right on to this combat here and get some sweet, sweet vengeance. Right, so I have pistol close combat weapon and one base attack, so I'm at two attacks. Okay. You also have the same, we're both the same weapon skill. So I guess I'll start this off. Ooh, that's pretty good. Reroll that six. All right, and then that, because I have uh, right. deflect. So essentially this will go to a two? Because of the fumble? It adds plus one of mine. It, it, I guess it doesn't matter either way. It's the same math. Yeah. And you've got the five? Yep, and I charged. So six, so you hit me four times. Yes, so I have to split that up evenly, two on the pistol, two on the knife. Right, so N zero is base strength four. I'm gonna start with the daggers to make it more brutal. Or the knife. So I guess that one five does it. Uh, on a two up, you're taken out because of the- Indeed. There's no one else. Yeah. I finally got what I wanted, and that is the Red Gobbo. In out of a action. Very, very um, high amount of pain, I hope. Right, so we are starting with break test now. Everyone within two inches of that. Leadership five. He's he's running. So how far is he gonna run? He's gonna make it eight inches somewhere out of line of sight. He does break. He has to get out of line of sight of my entire warband, which is covering this very. He can't run here. Because yeah, and be zero seen. would see him. Okay, so he'll go, it'll take him two inches to there, and six inches to kind of make it back this way. That's as good as he can get for now. Yep, he wants to try and get behind this little area here. Indeed. These two were three to four inches away, they're fine, they don't have to take a break test. Right off the bat, I'm liking where this is going. We're gonna move right onto Josh's turn though. Get you right where I want you. Yeah, he, these guys could just stand up and clobber him right to the ground. It's true. But he is my hero. I've already considered myself winning the campaign, just because of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted to do this entire campaign. We gotta test initiative to see if they can step up, so can't catch you first. Initiative is four. Oh, he's getting up. He's up. Ah. Hello. And then Greg O'Gray. Same initiative? Yep. He is also standing up. Get on up, big guy. Ah. Up here, Lendon back on Overwatch and Clip Harness. I always forget to mention it, but he's yeah, got it's, one. Yeah, it's 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 almost a given that everyone like my guy's got a clip harness as well. I forgot to mention it. He didn't move. Assume clip harness. Yeah. He's got clip harness as well, but he's moved. So, no clip harness. He's also on the ground. I will use some stupidity checks, though. No red uh, gobble for them. So, we're going to go ahead and check on Grey Go Grey first. Leadership 8. He's fine. And then on Can't Catch You. Same leadership? Yes. But he is. Stupid. I got to figure roll. out. I think it's a table we roll on. Let's find out. Rolling on a table. Okay, so one to three when to roll a scatter die and he wanders off in that direction. Oh boy. If he goes into base contact, he's engaged, and four to six, he doesn't move. Okay, so I gotta get a scatter die. Yeah, sure. You're hoping for, boy, like a three inch scatter into my guy? Yes. Okay, so he wanders off that direction, his full movement. Just a move? Yes. Does he move a five or four? He moves five. Okay. So he's wandering closer to the board edge. That's not bad. And now Greg O'Gray, Greg Old Gray? Greg O'Gray. It's Gr Gregory, but it's got ogre in it. Oh, Greg O'Gray. Sure. Greg O'Gray? He can act as normal. What does he want to do? I assume he's in charge. Uh, more than likely he will, but I need to check something because I think you get an overwatch shot, my friend. I do? I totally forgot about this. I got two wound up over there. My transferonic archivist will definitely take an overwatch shot at that ogre. Just hitting on a six, you have the shield out in front, and I am overwatching, so it's minus three to my B, uh, BS of four. Okay. Hitting on a six. Nope, nothing, you're fine. Take away that overwatch mark. So this this charge is definitely happening, I'm gonna be taking a leadership on leadership seven. 
Oh, uh, my guy is sticking in there. He's not broken. He's gonna take that charge head on. <laughs> mm. I don't. I, can't, I don't know if I like this or hate this. Since he's broken, he's stupid. He's on Overwatch. We're gonna go right to combat. There's no shots. I'm gonna do my two attacks first. I have okay. counterattack and deflect. Five and a two, eh? Mm. We'll see what your dice are. Okay. What's counterattack? Do you like to reroll? Let's me reroll one of my dice. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh, you're gonna reroll that six. Gonna reroll that six? That's from deflect. Ooh, a fumble. Okay. That could be a big deal. That's uh. I have to reroll this too because you're still beating me by one because you charge and you have one higher weapon skill than I you're do. You're looking for a six, basically. I'm, yeah, I need a six on this. A two to a two is nothing. So we have ourselves one hit on me. Go ahead and hit me. You wound me on three. I'm toughness four. That's not a three. <laughs> Dang it. We're going to the recovery phase. Just have to see uh, leadership five on him. See if he recovers. Come on, crank shift. Get back in the fight. He's back hey! in the fight. <laughs> nice. That's going to go right on ahead and put it in my turn. I have a lot of repositioning. Oh, uh, sorry, reinforcements first. Uh, D3 reinforcements of the two. I get just one more in. Random table edge again. One, two, three, four. Five, six is my choice. Five, six, my choice. My leader's going to be coming in. I'm going to elect to keep my uh, fresh forge out. My, they're pretty close in combat, except he's got deflect. My leader doesn't. He's going to move right here, and he's going to elect to charge. This is all out of spite. I could go for more ogre killers, but I want to take a, I want to take away your grot like stupidity bubble as well if I can. True. That makes the heavy bolter is finally in good enough range to stay where he is. Just gonna go ahead and run R three. He's gonna he's running uh, avoiding the Overwatch by running from cover to cover. Well, he's out in the open, but cover to cover enough. We are gonna have L U run right over here. I'm gonna move to right there. A shut up is actually just gonna stay right there and take two shots at. Uh, this is. Can't catch you. Can't catch you. Yeah, he's in the open. He's got the hard cover, but he didn't run. And he's still a large target, so I think yep. I got good shots. You're there. only at minus one to hit him. Yeah. First things first, Archibus right into uh, can't catch you. Okay. Hitting, can't catch you. You got big shield, so hard cover, but your large target, so minus one of that. I'm just hitting on a five, essentially. BS four. I can't believe I haven't gotten better ballista skill on this guy. That's a mess. Heavy Bolter is going to do his sustained fire 2d3 shots right into Can't Catch You as well. 2d3 shots. 4, 5. Right, he's got hard cover. It's pretty much the. Oh, I'm hitting on 4s actually because you're a large target. Yep. Actually, sorry, I would have been hitting on 4s with him, but I rolled a 2 anyways, it doesn't matter. My Heavy Bolter is hitting on 4s because he's Ballista Skill 4. First shot of 5. It's a hit. Going down. He's pinned. Right, so that's a hit. He's pinned. Toughness 5 on him? T5, yeah. So you're wounding on 4. Looking for a 4 to wound. That's no wound. I'm gonna continue with the rest of the shots. Four to hit. Miss. Four to hit. That's a hit. Oh, ammo check as well. Six up ammo check for a heavy bolter. He's out of ammo. All right, these two shots can't fire anymore. But let's see if this wound's on four. Yes, it does wound. You minus two to your save as well. Go to a six up save. Ooh, D3 Three. damage. Three. Yep, that's, uh, can't catch you then. He's just down? Is that two? Two experience for me, two experience. So I'm gonna check energy check twice. Flesh wound, flesh wound. Okay. Huh. <laughs> huh. Yeah, because I, I, I rolled twice there because he had two wounds. So he just flesh wound twice. Gonna put that on him to symbolize two flesh wounds. My next shot is gonna be my galvanic rifle from G0, right at can't catch it on the ground. Might as well. So you can finish him off? Just finish him off. Right, so I got red dot and he's a large target. Counters out his. Uh, full cover from the shield. I'm just hitting on a two. Cool. Hey, hey, you know what? That's not a one. Just looking for a five to wound. Not enough. Shut up. Didn't move. He's going to take two shots with his arc rifle, uh, arc pistols at can't catch it as well. So, after everything you said and done, he's still hitting on twos because he's bliss skill six. Indeed. Plus, oh, yeah, everything else. And first shot, hitting on a two. Okay. Second shot. That. Sure, it's good enough. Four wound because strength five. Not all of my shooting is now done. You know what? I'm happy with it. We're gonna go right into combat. Which one do you feel like doing first? I will let you pick, sir. Dealer's choice. Let's go with this one. I'm curious how this is gonna go this time. Okay. Starting off with Greg O'Gray. He's got two attacks. Ooh. Four and a one. All right. I'm gonna do my two. Four and a two. I think I'm gonna keep everything as it is because I technically win by one. Or is it a tie? 
So since he is higher weapon skill, the fumble kind of counts that out. Same, 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 same we're, weapon we're skill. Equal, yeah. We're very equal. But you have a higher initiative. I'm gonna reroll my two for counterattack for a four, which doesn't help. I'm gonna make you reroll that four. You're making me reroll the four? Yeah. You realize I'm gonna get a six now, right? I know. Yeah. Oh! I mean, it was that or. So I went nothing. by two. Yeah. Yeah, you went by two. And you're wounding on threes. threes. Oh, that's only one wound. I got one wound left on him, so that's it for that. All right, moving on to the only combat that's left. I'll let you do yours first. You have two attacks because you have two pistols. One skill two. One skill two. No, oh. stop fumbling. Oh, one. I got two attacks as well. Oh. Oh, you're going to win that one. Okay, let's see how that is. Okay. So, so that goes down to four because of the fumble. And your higher weapon skill already, naturally? Uh, let me do it. Yeah, by one. You run skill four? Uh, three. Oh, you're oh right. no, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, you're right. So that goes up by that. And then I charged for one more. And I think that's it. So... I win by four. Yeah. So yeah, I do win by four. And I'm strength four, so I'll be winning you on threes. Only two. He's on out, a, though. On a, yeah, yeah, he's out. Yeah. That's one experience for my leader. Or one experience. Five experience for my leader. But more importantly, I'm getting my sweet vengeance. This is exactly what I want. <laughs> I can consolidate kind of up the... He'll go this way, essentially. On to Josh's turn, his recovery phase. Okay, yeah, I gotta see if he can test to escape pinning early. Yes. Actually, stupidity first. Is it stupidity first? Yeah. Leadership eight. He's good. Let's see if he gets out of pinning. Uh, one to four. He's fine. He stands okay, up. Okay, so he stands up with his flesh wound. <laughs> Two flesh wounds. Don't... So you still have to take a leadership check. Indeed. Okay. So he's stupid. What does that mean? I gotta roll this. On a four up, he fights normally. No, so he doesn't get to swing, but he still gets to count his uh, his weapon skill towards the hand to hand. I just don't get to try to punch you. Oh, okay. Gray go gray. He's gonna try to run for the win here. Yep. So that's six, seven, eight. So he'll end up underneath here. Hello. Yeah, that's his only choice. He's down weapon skill, but let's go one, pretty much. Yep. I might as well put him on Overwatch. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> and now we have we have this combat to resolve. Right. Since he's stupid in combat, the bad kind of stupid in combat. Indeed. He's simply just sitting there, but he uses base weapon skill four to yep. yeah see where this goes. So three and a four. Yeah. You uh, gonna keep those, I assume. Yeah, I might as well. I'll reroll the three. Whatever. Four four. Okay. The way this works is that basically my weapon skill cancels at your roll. Yeah. And your weapon skill what three? Three. Correct. You got three hits on me. Yep. All right, so I got to split these up. Two into the pistol, one into the dagger. The dagger is strength four, because he's base strength four. Looking for a five, nothing. These are looking for fours. Nothing. So it's just uh, a push? Yep. Yeah, nothing. Start my turn, reinforcements automatically come on. Last guy. So he's going to come on again. One, two, three, and four. And five, six I choose. Four, so he's coming on over there. He's going to come on right here. He's just going to run right up these stairs. Makes it right there. I... I want to get into combat to help, but I also need to take out the ogre that's running for the victory, so he's going to move four inches this way, just to get a clear shot of... Can't catch you. you. Oh, he's going to run right behind the barrels, ends up right there trying to catch the ogre. R3 is going to run eight inches over here to try and catch the ogre. So R3 runs from here to there to try and catch the ogre, though that does run through the sniper's line of sight for an initial check on his overwatch. One or two. No. Doesn't catch him. Shut up is going to just simply move underneath the building here. Shut up ends up right over there looking the ogre down. My leader is going to go right up to the edge and shoot down the railing at the ogre. My heavy boulder guy is too precious to me. He's running. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with my leader, H4 going to take one shot at the ogre. Uh, the shield is not in that arc, so he's hitting on a two because of large target and long range. Oh, it's one, but there's no no straight fire. Man, these guys can't shoot. If I keep referring to both of these as my leader, H4 is my leader. I don't. If I ever said G0 is my leader, he's not. H4 is always my leader. And how we love him so. <laughs> so SU is going to shoot right through these rocks that uh, can't catch you. We're hitting on twos because we're in close range now. And this goes six. First shot on a two. That's a hit. He is now pinned. Wounding on a four. No wound. Second shot on a two. That's an ammo check. Six up. 
He's got ammo and wounding on a four. That's a wound. Four up armor. For his carapace armor. Oh, it's not enough. What kind of wound is it? He's out of here. Oh, he's out of here. He's out, out. He's out, out. Wow. That's the first Ogren taken out of action. I am very proud of myself. This is going so much better than I anticipated. Stupidity only lasts until the start of the next turn, which is not my turn. You're not stupid anymore. We're just gonna simply go ahead and do a good old fight. What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? What? Wow! <laughs> Jeez. You yeah. Just keep, you okay. wanna make me reroll? <laughs> no, no. I did, do I, I want to get a crit? But I'm okay with this. So double fumble goes down to basically my total score is two. Oh. And then I stick with my six. Yep. And You're that's, winning by four. Yeah. I forgot to actually add my weapon skill of three, so I'm winning by five, actually. It's crazy. I have to split these up. Three into my pistol, two into my dagger. Start with the dagger, winning on fives. Oh no, that's minus one of your armor save, too. Can you stop? It's minus one? I think it's strength four. Okay, right, yeah, five up. Pass one, fail one. Uh, how many wounds is he? He's down three? Yeah, he's, he's down three. Okay. These are now wounding on fours with the pistol. Nothing, just one wound caused. That concludes my turn. Bottle. We're gonna go into Bottle. the ogre's turn. Right. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> you you have, you have beaten me hands down, sir. <laughs> you have earned this victory. I got really lucky. All my guys coming in right here, taking out the goblins to force you to take. Fifty chance, right? It like, is because on a five or six, I choose. Yep. And now, take. <laughs> Were you just talking to my belly for a second? <laughs> Hello, Josh's belly. <laughs> just like I was looking Hello. at the I was looking at the mom. <laughs> well, you were just you gotta look where the camera yeah, looks. I gotta look where the camera looks. <laughs> I'm a noob, everyone. I'm so, you know what? I had fun. This game was I had fun. I got my vengeance. All I wanted. Yeah. I took an ogre out. I'm the only person to take out an ogre. I was trying. Yeah, I think yeah, you're the first yeah. one to actually uh, take one out of action. I mostly wanted to go for the red goblin for vengeance, but yeah, you got the red goblin. Yeah, and um, you got crankship too, which is one of my favorite guys. <laughs> just the charges after charges. I should have yeah. been smarter about that. Well, that's that. That's me getting lucky on the stable edge, right? I wanted to take out the red goblin just yep. for the spite of it, and then I got lucky, and I remembered. Oh, he needs those goblins for their well, leadership. I should have spread them out a little bit more if I. If I had been smart enough to think about that, I would have spread them out so you couldn't then walk into combat. Because if I could gunfighter you, this would have been that thing. But yeah, because you can. Away. The probably this exact thing happened to me too when I was playing in, in the first hit run. You know what? I should have went just straight to the middle of the board yep. and just weathered the shots. I, I think it would have been much better. I tried to be sneaky. Tried to go on one edge of the yep. board. His reinforcements all came on that edge. Didn't By the work. time I got to the other edge, his reinforcements came from that edge as well. Well, let's roll some serious injuries and see if yeah. you actually get your vengeance yeah. or not. I, I hope I do. Right on the serious injuries, where are you starting? We're gonna start here with Can't Catch Ya. The black dice will be the 10s. Oh, he's fine, fully 55, recovered. 55, yeah, it's just the full recovery. Crank Shiv is next. 53, full recovery. And this is all, all I care the marbles. about. This is all I care about. For all the marbles! No! 42 is, yeah, just full recovery. I was really hoping to get some damage in on you guys. You got, I got lucky, you got lucky. You know what, I'm sure you're happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I couldn't have hoped for really much better. Now my guys were never taken out of action, and they weren't knocked down. I have no serious injuries to make. Right, we've just calculated all the experiences. I didn't get nearly as much experience as I'm used to, as my warband rating is caught up to everyone else completely. I only gained plus one bonus experience. I was like 20 under Josh. I get plus one bonus experience for winning that one. Anyways, R3 levels up, D4 levels up, and so does G0. Now, I've already rolled for them. R3, got plus one attack. He's at max attacks of three. This guy never gets in combat, but he's got max attacks of three, power axe, arc pistol. D4, got plus one toughness, which is super useful. He's got toughness four, and his carapace armor. That's gonna be nice. And then G4, G0, got fast shot. He can move and go on overwatch. It's, I'm not too sure what to, I don't think I'll go on shooting anymore. The rest just seem to be all pistol skills. I really wanted marksman mostly. But that's what I got. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to go calculate. Well, I'm going to go get income now. But let's go look at what Josh got. I got four level ups because I was close with most of them. So we're going to start with Lendon, my sniper here. He picked up an extra leadership. Which, cool. okay, not super cool, but I don't mind. Crankshift can leap. So he moves an extra D6 if he runs. So you move your, you move your triple, add D6. Yeah. Yeah. So he runs 12 plus D6 and then can still shoot and all that after yeah, that. Yeah. So he just got faster. Uh, now for the Ogrins, can't catch you. Or actually, no, we'll start with uh, Greg Ogre because he got initiative five now. 
Oh, that's good. It's pretty good. And then, because he stands yeah, he's like, always, he always has yeah, to stand up. He's always testing to stand up. Last but not least, Can't Catch You picked up a new skill. He got Hurl Opponent. Oh, this one is... Which is in combat, either before or after I swing, I can take a strength test and throw you D6 inches. The throw doesn't hurt you, but it pins you. If I throw you into somebody else, and I choose the direction. So if I throw you into somebody else, then they're pinned as well. But that does allow me to throw you off the edge of... A tall building. Yeah, I, I just love the idea you get to attack first as well, so you can punch him in the face a couple of times, and if you're on top of a building, throw him over the edge of the building. building. Yeah. yeah. That, I really hope that or comes up. Or you know what, if it's a fight I don't want to do, you like if it's something one. where I think I'm going to lose the fight, just I'll him. just throw you away first. <sighs> I love options. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Alright, let's go see how much money you make. These five are going to go work, he's going to go off to the market. This is pretty much what I roll for my work. This is my Archaeotech hold, two holsteads, a drinking hole, and my, uh, what was this one? Mine workings. So I got 200, well, 200 all together, because these are all times 10. 70. Yeah, so yeah, wow. I had a hard time doing math. That's 20 all together. And I'm going to roll for my drinking hole on a six. Nope, nothing happens. On a six, I get to add one or subtract one for the next roll to uh, the start of the uh, next scenario. But I think after that, I get... That will give me 75 credits, in addition to my 20, so I'm at 95. The end of me generating my resources, I got another 75 credits, didn't find anything good at the market, couldn't get a new territory, so, you know what, I'm just going to sit on the credits here. Cash it? Alright. Yep. I don't think I'm actually going to end up buying anything. I have 95 credits, I really want to get photo visors for my two specialists now, but I'm having a hard time rolling it. So, for now I'm just going to cash in the 95. And I'm debating on buying bionics to remove my old battle wounds that I still have. I mean, oh, we've got to show it on camera, but no, no old battle wounds popped up. Uh, they're 50 credits a pop, though. The ad mech are allowed to get them at common, common quality. I think I might just hold on, though. Yeah, I might just. I'm gonna save them for next game. Right, that concludes our game. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming games. As we get closer to the end, it's gonna get, it's coming down to the wire who's gonna take first. It's hard to tell. I have my predictions, but we'll find out. Happy Wargaming.